object. So we're updating only the actual bullet. Okay, update object. Uh, and this will be the bullet. Bullets. That'll be I. And we update the bullet movement because we're checking for collision on it. Now, as we're updating the bullet, we check for collision. And this is what is going to find out if we've hit an enemy or anything else. Collision. So if we hit the. Um, So what we're checking here is we're checking if the bullet has hit um, anything pretty much. If the bullet has hit anything, let us know about it. Now, then we define bullet victim, All right? Yeah, so um, we're going to do an integer here. We're going to call it int bullet victim. Yeah, so um, int bullet victim, or we'll call it character shot, shot equals sc. Well, it's just basically what we did here. Basically that there. Uh, so we're saying whoever's been hit by the bullet, if someone has been hit, uh, then character shot is that person. Okay. So DB hide object. So it, the bullet is hit something, so we want to hide it. So if you hit a player, then you assume it's gone into him. If you hit a wall, you assume it's gone within the wall. So DB hide object. Um, now we're talking about the bullet graphic we're hiding. So bullets. Um, I and it's one because it's the graphic we're hiding, not the actual bullet. Um because that's hidden at all times anyway. So then you go I should probably have this anyway. Then you go uh and then we declare the bullet is dead pretty much. Um so it doesn't damage anyone else because that's the most important thing. Enemy not found equals true. So this is used, alright? to find out which enemy has been hit um, no, well we know that but it's used to to see if it's um, well to break out of a loop it is because we're going to check through every enemy as it hit that enemy then do something to him if it hasn't then keep looking for the next enemy but if it's found one get out of the loop so it just doesn't waste resources so if character short shot is greater than zero so if anything has been hit because it has we know it has otherwise it wouldn't be within the loop then you go for now this is the bit that I might comment out for now because we still haven't created our enemies yet for int um, uh, j yeah so j equals zero if j is smaller than max enemy number this is something we will define in a second this is going to be something you change at the top and then uh, you can have wherever, however many enemies you like it's up to you obviously um, uh, j plus plus so check through every enemies and I forgot this bit and enemy not found so you don't want it to keep looking once it has found the enemy not found yeah um, equals equals true call that equals equals true there yep okay so just do a little four here that I deleted by uh, the bracket so I think for now, I think that is good enough because um, here's where I add enemy code. I haven't created the enemies, so I c I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to write something there on the other one. So at the moment, I'm just going to show you what we got here. So all these variables are not remaining ammo undeclared. Declared is at the top. What are you talking about? Remaining ammo. I'm sure I'll declare this. Um, Int max m short. Oh, I guess I didn't. I forgot. I must have. Um, so yeah, um, remaining ammo is what we're gonna call the variable equals. Um, well, yeah. So our, our spare magazine basically remaining ammo, and then we gotta have reload time, which we do. Oh, it's reload timer. Reloading time. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking reload timer. New mistakes all over the place here. Uh, remaining ammo. Just gonna get any arrows left. Uh. I don't know I can make such stupid mistakes here, honestly. 
bullet speed hasn't been declared yet. Yeah, these we got to declare as well, guys. Um, so remaining, just got to do this one here as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're just going to declare these two at the top now. Um, this is something uh, the way you're defining this. Define. I'm not that familiar with this yet, but from the way I see this, because I've never actually done this before. So when you just define max enemy number, and this is what we're going to use to do everything related to our enemies, because um, I made this so that if you want to have I don't know instead of 20 enemies, you want to have 120. You know, you simply change this and everything else works perfectly. Um, that's the reason why this was done. Um, so I'm going to do here int bullet speed uh, speed and uh, bullet speed. Where is that? You got bullet speed. This should be timer, by the way, guys. Sorry about that. Bullet speed timer. So look for that and change it, please. So what you do here is you go um, timer equals db timer. And now we should have a working one uh, with reloading and stuff. Oh, I guess not. Just commenting this out for a second, seeing what I've got wrong here. Yeah, apparently I did a full root loop very badly. So, anyways, here's what we got. So now our bullets are updating now. Very good stuff. See? See? So it's just done the click. Um, and a small problem here should be clicking again, but. Should be reloading now. Any second. There you go. Yeah. So we did a wrong angle here, but it should have been up. It's down. So we're gonna find that out. Okay. So when you do shoot the gun, we did. We must have forgot to put minus somewhere. So let's just find that out. So position weapons. Um, shoot gun. So DB. Um, yeah. So what we did here on the shadow bullet. Um, we forgot to put a negative um, a minus here in front of this. The way I see it, that's our error. Um, and then on this one, the actual bullet here, yeah, that should be fine now. Um, so, but before we check that, let's uh, prefer to do something else as well. So we're going to do the info display. Uh, this will be the bit that basically uh, tells us our ammo, our health, and all that good stuff. So uh, info display, do one, get in that. So yeah, we're going to do a function now called info display. Um, info display. Now this will, you know, inform us of everything that's going on and all that good stuff. So uh, void info display. Uh, so first thing we want to do here is we want to set the text size, set text size to 38. All right, set text size to 38. Um, now the reason for this is because um. Well, because we want the text to be fairly big at the moment, and it, it doesn't really matter for now. Maybe in the long term you want to reduce it, but that's up to you. So this can be quite annoying, and like um, other languages and stuff, when you're trying to display some text here, it can be really annoying. So there's this thing called Sprint S. I think it sends everything you type into it into a string. So we want to put within ammo, which is the the, char the char we just defined. Um, we want to put you put 200 there. I'm not 100 percent sure why you do that, but you do, um, and you won't get the normal stuff you get when you when you're writing in Dark GDK. So just copy what I'm doing, and we want to put ammo equals percentage D, and then you go slash, and then you go like that. Current ammo. Okay, that's all you put, and then you go DB text, right? Because DB text is a function we use to type text on screen. Uh, specific coordinates and you display ammo okay so we got that done and we're just going to copy and paste this to do another bit uh, this next bit will be remaining ammo remain call it, just call it remain ammo it's fine and we do that do that there and then here you go remaining 
ammo okay and that is the global variable um, and all you do on this one is you go percentage d you put percentage d no slash no anything like that just like that on its own and you put this at 300 okay 150 so all we're doing is we're tying the, uh, what the remaining ammo is and stuff and then the next bit will be um, int y equals db screen now this next message we want to put right in the center of the screen well just a little bit off uh, divided by 2 screen height yeah it remembers, remembers that that's good uh, and then you got int x x equals db screen width divided by 2 um, so we got that and then we go um, if reloading equals true so this is um, if the player is reloading we want to tell them that they're reloading you'd normally do that with an animation but in, we haven't got any of those so we'll use that so we do x plus 60 and we position y plus 60 uh, minus 80 here so this goes just near the center of the screen um, and then we go like that go like that and then we go this is the text we want it we want to show up to the player so reloading and um, that's that and that's it pretty much um, and then all we do uh, the enemy is alive and my health we'll leave that alone for now uh, we'll get back to that soon but basically hopefully this and probably have an error too but sprint f uh, sprint f you go sprint f sorry sprint f and then you go s see if that does it yeah so here we go so we should be able to see on screen our text now um, hope that happens yeah there we go we got our ammo there we go So we go for the reload, so reloading, and there's the ammo, there we go. So we do ammo, uh, we reload, should have 39 rounds, I think, and zero on the other side. Yeah, there we go. And as you can see, the bullets are now traveling the right way. Yeah, okay, so we should probably lift the bullets a little bit higher because they look like they're coming from under the gun, but for now that's good. Um, so DB text we got that we'll add the um, the health and so on later on uh, what we'll do here now is we're gonna display our crosshair so DB sprite I don't know if I've declared it on top yet I'm gonna just find that out um, crosshair I don't know yeah I didn't declare it so I'm just gonna load the image of the crosshair this is a very simple one um, okay so here's our crosshair coming up so uh, we load that when we load the map I mean I could have done that at the start but it doesn't really matter too much so we'll load it here why not so db load image this is our image um, uh, so then do images slash slash crosshair dot dds now dds is our file type and we save that crosshair which we'll declare now now crosshair will declare us three by the way so int We'll go a little bit up here. Int crosshair equals three. I'll declare that as three. So just yeah, go back there and here we go. We load the crosshair. So here we have. So we're gonna make a sprite out of that image, right? Because um, for some reason I couldn't get transparency working in the image by itself. So we needed to do the zero. This is the coordinates we initially put in the sprite in, but that doesn't matter because we 